Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to help you predict when your opponent's going to hit cross-court or if they're going to try to burn you down the line in doubles. Now, this video is courtesy of Matt Lynn on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I've put his link in the description below. Now, to set this up, this is UCLA's number one doubles team, and this is TCU. All right, let's watch this point. It's a short one, and then we'll diagram it. Ah, we've all been in her situation when we get burnt down the alley. Look, you can't keep it from happening. We just want to reduce the likelihood that it happens. And so let's check this out. Here comes the serve. This is actually a second serve. Ball is hit cross court. Now, this is a very interesting situation. And this is what Gigi Fernandez talks about. 17-time Grand Slam champion, you know, uh, <laughs> Hall of Famer. She talks about inside ground strokes and outside ground strokes. If we look at this player right here, she is hitting an inside ground stroke. An inside ground stroke is the ground stroke toward the inside of the court. If she were hitting a forehand right now, she'd be hitting an outside ground stroke. When your opponent is hitting an inside ground stroke, it is very likely they are going to hit down the alley. Now, I didn't say 100% of the time. I didn't say it's a foolproof plan. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you will be right a lot. If you assume that they are going to hit this ball down the alley or right at you, just because that's where the leverage is. And you can see that's actually where she pulls the ball. When people are hitting on the left side of their body, which is what this player is doing right now, she's hitting a backhand, she's right-handed, but it doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed. It's called an inside ground stroke. When they're hitting on the left side of their body, they tend to hit the ball this way. And when they hit on the right side of their body, they tend to hit the ball this way. You can see this X that is created. If any of you <laughs> follow baseball, you know that right-handed batters tend to hit their home runs to left field, and left-handed batters tend to hit the, their home runs to right field. It's kind of their spray chart. Why? Because that's where the leverage is, and they can get power that direction. I think you'll be shocked to know that many of your opponents are actually choosing their target, even unbeknownst to them, based on the side of the body where they're making contact. So if they're making contact on the left side, they actually pull the ball this way. If they're hitting the ball on the right side, they pull the ball this way. This is a really easy way to know when you're playing recreational club doubles, anything from like the four or five doubles and below. I'm not talking pros and I'm not talking college. I'm talking beginners, intermediate, and like advanced uh, club level players. When they, when a, uh, an opponent is hitting their inside ground stroke, the ground stroke that is closer to the inside of the court, they are going to hit more likely than not straight to you or down the line. So it is in your best interest to hold your position. If they are hitting the outside shot, then it's actually more likely they're going to hit cross court. So those are actually the situations when you want to poach. Can they go down the line on you? Yes. Will you sometimes be wrong? Yes. But actually staying, this player holding her ground because it was an inside ground stroke. This is the outside. This is her inside shot. Then that's actually when she should hold her ground. And most likely the ball comes to her. Now, I'm not even discussing these players. You know, these are division one high level college women's players. I'm not even discussing them. I just don't have videos of recreational players playing doubles on YouTube. So I got to use these players. And I'm trying to teach you these con concepts using this level play. If she, right here, this net player, were playing 3-0 doubles, 3-5 doubles, the very, you know, intermediate uh, basic levels of club tennis, and she sees an inside ground stroke, she should hold because most likely that opponent is pulling the ball to her. You'll be shocked how easy it is to actually predict where your opponent hits the ball based on which side of their body they're making contact on. Now, before I draw this up on the big board, it's really important you understand the pathway to your tennis success. It's not enough to just watch these videos. You gotta go out and apply what you're learning from the techniques and the strategies in plenty of practice sessions 
and match play. And that's why I'm so excited to partner up with Play Your Court. It's a service that helps you find new hitting partners and practice partners and competitive match play opponents in your local area, people you didn't even know played tennis, so you can take your game to new heights. Just click the link in the description below and I'll even pin it in the first comment. All right, inside ground strokes and outside ground strokes. So outside ground strokes, and obviously there are two of them, outside and then inside. So this is your opponent. They're hitting the ball on that side of their body. That's their outside ground stroke, obviously. <laughs> this is their inside ground stroke. So here's basically what you have to know. When your opponent has an inside ground stroke, don't poach. Hold your ground. Remember when you play baseball as a kid or even if you watch baseball at all, right-handed batters tend to hit the ball to left field. Tend to, not always, of course, but just when you look at the spray chart. Right-handed bat, I'm sorry, left-handed batters tend to hit the ball to right field. And why is that? Because that's where the strength is. That's where the leverage is. So when your opponent is hitting on this side of their body, they're hitting on their left side. So they tend to hit the ball to right field. That I'm shocked how often this is right. So thank you, Gigi Fernandez, for, for teaching this uh, in your videos. When you go out and just watch people play doubles, just look to see when they have an inside ground stroke, how often they choose down the line, whether right at the net player or down the alley. So when your opponent has an inside ground stroke, don't poach, or you'll, <laughs> what happened to that college player is gonna happen to you. When your opponent has an inside ground stroke, just hold your ground you'll be right about 70% of the time. They will pull that ball, especially if you're a beginner, an intermediate player, anybody 4.5 USTA level and below, that ball 70% of the time is gonna get yanked down the line. So you don't wanna be, oh my gosh, man down. No editing. <laughs> you don't wanna be moving and then the ball goes down the line and you're wrong 70% of the time. I want you to be right 70% of the time and the 30% it goes cross court, you're fine. You, you didn't get burnt, your partner gets it. But when the ball is on the outside, that's when they're more likely gonna hit the ball cross court. So if you want to poach, you can expect seven out of 10 balls to go cross court. It's amazing how often this strategy works and it's the same on the other side. I'll just draw it here without doing anything and erasing anything. I'll just draw it here. This player, their outside shot, most likely going to go cross court. Their inside shot, that's when they're going to choose down the line, down the alley, or right at the net person. If you notice, there's an X, right? That X is where their shots would cross. When you're at the net and your opponent has an inside ground stroke, do not poach. There's a good chance, 70% chance, that that ball is going to get yanked down the line. Now, this isn't for pros, right? You can't say, oh, I'm gonna watch some old footage of the Woodies from the 90s, or I'm gonna watch uh, Ken Flack and Robert Seguso, or I'm gonna watch uh, Martina Navratilova. Th that doesn't work at that level. They don't abide by this strategy. Guess what? Your opponents do, and they don't even know it. People decide on their targets based on the side of their body that they're hitting on and they don't even realize they're doing it. And sh I, won't, I won't tell them that you know. Use this and apply it. Poach when your opponent has an outside ball. And I'll give you a little tip here, especially if they are right-handed and they're playing their backhand, you can take that 70% and make it 90%. That ball is going cross court. So when you see your opponent with an outside backhand, an outside shot and it's a backhand, just go like this as they're hitting, they'll hit it right to you and you can slam it right at the net person. Use the inside outside ground stroke strategy to your advantage and there's no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from twominutetennis.net. You got this.